Hi, this morning I want to talk about our new FGX Ballet Song. This ballet song was in my mind for about six years and we, Andrew and I spent about two years developing it. It's pretty easy to open and flick open as you can see. It weighs 2.2 ounces. That's a feather. It's super light. It's made entirely out of grivery and other super plastics. So there's no metal in this knife. The blade is seven millimeters thick, so it's quite a sturdy blade, and it's double-edged with full serrations and terminates in a reinforced point. This point is really quite acute. So you can just touch yourself with the web of the hand and the slightest touch and you'll feel that. The blade is five inches long and the handle is six inches long, so it's got a really good blade length to handle ratio. The handle is about five eighths of an inch thick and it really fills up your hand when it's in the closed position. So you can use it as a pocket stick or your wire stick if you will. It's got this um, projection here at the end and of course the butt of the handle can be used. So this doesn't feel that great on soft tissue. drive it in like this you can put both hands on it and pull like that and now I got a pretty good cut like okay. that so I went in and I opened that wound channel a lot You can spend your hard-earned money, $13, and buy this extravagant, big, giant drink and a giant hamburger sandwich and french fries, or you can get an FGX balance on and have a really cool knife for 13 bucks that just might save your life. So what do you think is the best use of your money? A big, extravagant, giant lunch or an awesome knife? That'll give you hours and hours of flipping fun and can be very useful in a pinch. Because it's made out of plastic, you can also um, Keep this outside. You could put it in the, in the planters, flower pots, uh, on the edges of roofs, um, just about anywhere you can think of. You can hide this um, because the blades are totally enclosed. And that's always been the problem with plastic knives: is you know the sheath costs more to make than the knife does. So how do you sheath them? 
economically to make them attractive to your customers. And in this case, because the blade's totally encapsulated by the handles, it answers that question. You can wear this in your pocket. There's no reason, especially in the states, the many states where ballast songs are totally illegal, like Texas, there's no reason not to have one or more of these in your back pocket, in your boot, in your coat pocket, anywhere you're likely to be, you could have one of these. They're very inexpensive. They cost $16.99 suggested retail. The map price is $12.75. So they're within the budget of virtually everybody in the United States. And you can buy multiple um, FGX ballast songs and hide them everywhere. So you always have a blade close by. The blade pierces quite well. The blade pierces quite well. We've done some tests and I was astounded. We've done some tests and I was astounded that it went through stacked cardboard as well as my five and a half inch Vaquero did. Well, almost, I should be honest and say almost as well, but probably 90% of the same penetration as I can get with a five and a half inch Vaquero that's steel made out of 10A steel. It's really hard. So I was very gratified to see that. And these seriations, I know there's been some talk on the internet about why in the world I put seriations on this thing. Well. This is designed to be a weapon first and a flipper second. The seriations, as you, and you'll see this when you touch them, they're quite sharp. I have several patents on how to get seriations this sharp and edges this sharp. And if you put this on bare flesh and slash, you're going to get about a seven to eight inch long cut that's going to go up to about an inch deep. Uh, through a t-shirt, you'll probably lose half that penetration. And through a t-shirt and a hoodie, the, the sleeves of those, you might only get an eighth of an inch cut, deep cut, but it'll be long. But against bare flesh, any exposed flesh, you're going to get a substantial cut out of this serration. Another benefit of the serration is, is when you're piercing with this, those serrations cut anything they come in contact with. So all the flesh and blood vessels and all that stuff that encounters this is going to be severed because it's going to be going pretty quickly and it's just going to saw right through those and sever them. So the damage is really substantial, especially when you make an insertion like this and give it pull or you rock it back and forth. And those serrations are going to do more damage. So that's why they're there. They're to maximize the weapon potential of this ballast saw. Now, if you want to flip it, and it's so inexpensive, these are easily removed. You can use a file. You can use even a nail file that you use on your nails. Um, you could go out to the, to the front yard to your concrete curb and knock off those serrations and soften them so they won't bang into your, your hand when you're flipping it. So it's very easy to modify this and in the future I will have other models that are designed for flippers. So don't think I haven't heard you. I have heard you and I considered making another model first but 
my real interest is is as a weapon first and that's the way I design this thing. Lightweight, inexpensive, very effective, impervious to the elements, super inexpensive, the FGX Balisong. A Balisong for everyone. This is a leather jacket. See? It's a nice thick leather jacket. It's got a hoodie on. He's got a t-shirt on and he's got a whole bunch of puncture wounds in the meat and they're deep and yeah, my finger goes all the way in there so they're flipping going in three inches plus all of that so the moral of this story is Heavy clothing will not stop an FGX ballast on penetration. <laughs>